Ignes Mur joined. Hi, thank you so much for joining. Thank you for your heart. My heart goes to you as well. Okay, I just had some technical problems, couldn't start on time. So greetings, my dear digital friends. Anna Dieter is here as usually every Saturday, 10 o'clock. This is what I'm planning to do. <laughs> okay, thank you for your hi and for your heart. So I am waiting for more people to join us today. And we are going to talk about a very interesting topic. It's called stuttering awareness. So I really would like to ask you guys, what does it mean? What is it that you people who stutter and other people should be aware of in reality? Not in someone's fantasy, but in reality. What does it mean, stuttering awareness? Let's talk about it today. And as we are waiting for more people to join, let me remind you that I'm multi-streaming right now on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. This is why I am kind of operating different devices and I may get confused sometimes when I do so. So let me remind you again. Oh, okay, perfect. So I'm live on YouTube. Something is weird going on. My internet connections are not that strong, looks like it. Okay, let me go to YouTube. And you know what I need to do? I need to mute it there. Yeah, I'm going live. Oh, it's muted already. Good job, Anna. Okay, I've done it. But it's so blurry. Let me see. Oh my God, it's so blurry on YouTube. Okay, guys, if you watch me on YouTube, let me know if you can hear and see me well. Oh my God, it's so blurry. Looks like, yeah, internet connection is a bit weak today. But on Instagram, I'm fine, right? Ignes um, MR. Can you see me well? Can you hear me well? I think it's only YouTube. Okay, I'm going to continue because today we're going to talk about a very, very important point. Very important. Adam just joined me. Hi, Adam. Good to see you here. Guys, can you write to me what countries are you from? I'm really interested to know what countries are listening to me live because I'm live right now. Okay, let me continue. I'm going to go back to StreamYard. So what is it, stuttering awareness? Let's talk about it. Hey, hi, Adam. Yay. <laughs> Good to see you here. Thank you for your support. Okay, so any questions? From you, you're going to get immediately the answer. So let's talk about stuttering awareness. And this is what I have planned to do today. Right now, I am planning to share my screen and I'm going to go to Instagram and I'm going to click on hashtag, hashtag stuttering awareness. And I want to see what will pop up. Okay, let's do it together. Let me go there right now. Okay, this is too small. Let's make it big. Okay, how about this way? Yeah, I'm very small. I really want you to see what is it that the world offers you to see. Let me see how it's going to look like on YouTube. Yeah, a little blurry but you can still see. Okay, good to know that it is blurry. Okay, and I am going to go to, where is it? Oh, here, we, here it is, stuttering awareness. And as some of you may know, it's stuttering awareness week. 
they have all kinds of stuttering awareness types. Stuttering awareness, week, year, month, they do all kinds of stuff. But let me see what they offer. And as you see, there are 18,000 plus posts on this topic. And I am following this hashtag. That's why it says follow me, right? Okay. So let's go. The first one. I'm not going to even click on this one because you can see clearly what they offer. Number one, what is the awareness? Acceptance. You have to accept that you still don't know how to speak. Because, yeah, you do believe that this is kind of a sickness. Something is weird going on with your health. That maybe your brain is not acting in the same way as the brain of other people. Okay, so you got to accept it. Okay, that's the most important part. See, they even put it kind of like awareness means acceptance. That's what it is. Okay, so here it is, stuttering as a communication disorder. That's what you got to be aware. Stuttering, you got to be aware and you got to tweak it, tweak it. You got to change it to stuttering as diverse communication. Yeah, other people say donut and you are so diverse that you say and other people are supposed to wait for you when you finally deliver give birth to the word the donut right because you are diverse okay another crazy idea using severely scales to describe stuttering what using severe oh severity my eyes are not <clears throat> good severity scales to describe stuttering let me see what they want to convert it using tension comfortable what comfortably no comfortability and ease to describe communication guys i don't even understand <laughs> It just sounds so weird to me using tension, comfortability, and ease to describe communication. That's what you need to tweak your severity scale. I'm going to give you right away, okay? What does it mean, severity scales? Who cares? How many times you're going to do, 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 do when you want to say the word donut? Who cares? How many times you're going to stumble on words? <clears throat> How many mistakes you're going to make? It doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is you don't need to count people speech therapist, speech pathologist, if you do this, still doing this, using severity scales to describe stuttering. Yes, you don't need to do that. You need to understand what it means to stutter. That's what awareness is. You gotta understand what's happening with a person when he goes like do, 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 or da, 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 da. I've seen people doing this, da, 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 da. I've seen people doing this and not do anything, just bite their tongue and just look at you with their eyes popping out. It doesn't matter how many times they do it the awareness is you gotta understand why they're doing it and teach them so they would never ever do this in very very short time yes it can be done very short time you don't need to go forever 
with all kinds of techniques. No, techniques are for people who are confused. Each and every technique, my dear, is the form of stuttering. It's an abnormal way to speak. So let me look at the other ones. Goals based on fluency. Once again, another B. BS, okay. What is fluency? Ask normally speaking people. What do you do to speak fluently? They're going to look at you and say, huh? What? What does it even mean fluently? To speak fluently. I just speak. Because the goal for each and every person on the planet, not to be fluent but to be accurate, to be comfortable, to be confident. That's the goal. And what do you need to do to speak comfortably, with ease, without any mistakes, without but right away, move your tongue to say the whole word, from start to finish, donut. What is it that you need to do? I will tell you. <laughs> this is what stuttering awareness is. But I'm not going to look at this post. Let's go to the next one. By the way, people on Instagram, they don't see my screen. I'm the, oops. I'm going to show the screen. I'm going to share the screen. Okay, so as you see, stuttering one-on-one, -on -one, 101, here are some facts and tips to help us understand more about stuttering and enable us to supportively listen and engage with people who stutter. It's some kind of organization that is called SAY. And look at this, there are 672 likes. There are 16 comments. I'm not gonna go there, okay? Now look at the other one. Look, there are two people. Look at their faces. They're looking at us and they, their shirts are saying, I stutter. Yeah, they obviously <clears throat> accepted that they are weird that they're born weird, that they're not like everyone else on the planet, okay? So let's go down and see what is it that they offer. I am curious, okay, starting one-on-one, -on -one, here are some facts and tips. You want to look at these facts and tips? Let's look at them. Let's look some facts and tips. How do I see it? Oh, I guess they, okay. Let's look at tip number one. Stuttering is an often misunderstood communication disorder that causes disfluencies in a person's speech. Stuttering affects an estimated 1% of the world population, over 70 million people, including 5% of all children. Is this the fact? I'm not sure because I can even argue this, okay? Number one, there are many, many more people who speak with mistakes because stuttering is a whole bunch of incorrect use of the speech instrument because a person doesn't know how to use this instrument correctly. The person doesn't understand how it works and the person is always guessing while using the instrument. Sometimes he can guess it right, but most of the time he guesses it wrong and he makes a mistake. Now, regarding children, all people, not 5%, all people on the planet stutter. When they are born, they have no idea how to speak. And they begin speaking, they begin learning to use their muscle, the tongue. And guess what they do at first? They make mistakes. They stutter. 
all people, not just 5%. Okay, let me go and see what's going on. Maybe someone asked me a question. Unfortunately, I cannot do it here. I mean, I cannot see. Oh, okay. Finn's clapping. Hey, Anna. Yay. Hey, hey. I haven't done your Adelon course, but I have watched some of your videos and they helped a lot. Focusing on rational speech has improved my speech a lot. Of course. <laughs> Thank you so much for your feedback, Finn's clapping. But you know what, Finn's clapping, by the way, I'm going to share the little comments I get here with my Instagram friends. So Instagram, by the way, go ahead and ask your questions. So let me read for you, Finn's clapping wrote, I haven't done your Erlon course, but I have watched some of your videos and they helped a lot. Focusing on rational speech has improved my speech a lot. Here we go, Finn's clapping. I have a question for you. Do you really know what it means to speak rationally? I have a very direct question that I always ask. Do you know what it means, a rational speech? You gotta know what it means. And if you don't know what it means, yeah, it may improve your speech a lot, but even when I am nervous, it doesn't matter. I just need to focus on the instrument. Yay! <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You're 100% right. You got to focus on the instrument that you are using when you create words. Okay. Very good. Yes, ask me. Good, I will be asking, because this is how I work. When I work with people, I always ask questions. Okay, there are more questions on Instagram now. Let me ask. What? They mean to do that. Why, when you sing, you don't stutter? I get this question very often, okay? So I'm going to go back. Bear with me, care, care, Carl, sorry. Carl, bear with me. I'm going to fix my YouTube screen, make it a little bit bigger. Yeah. Okay. So you see on YouTube and Facebook and LinkedIn, you see the screen I'm sharing. It's from Say, but this is not what I agree to. Okay. This is a total disinformation that has been shared for years years to be exact since 1889 that's what they are shared okay so to answer your question carl speaking and singing are two very much different learned skill learned do you understand the word learned yeah when we sing, we got to learn. When we speak, we got to learn. Yes, we are using the same instrument. Yes. But we are, um, we are learning. Okay. It's the same instrument, but we're using it pretty much differently. When we sing, we are using it in this way. And if you sing, it means you have learned how to use your instrument for singing good for you but when we when we when you speak and make mistakes it means you still don't know how to use your speech instrument with accuracy with ease and confidence anywhere anytime in front of anyone it's a totally different skill and as the person from YouTube just asked me, Finn's clapping, he just mentioned that, yeah, I need to focus on my speech instrument. Yes, but he still doesn't know 
what exactly you need to focus on. Yes, he has improved his speech because he started focusing on the muscles. That's the muscle we use when we speak. <laughs> okay? And when you don't focus on the instrument, on your speech muscle, then of course you're going to make mistakes. Okay? So, but fins clapping, you got to learn what exactly you need to focus on to make sure that your speech is perfect, perfect each time you speak. Listen to the way I speak. English is my second language. Yes, I've been speaking English for over 20 years. I moved to the United States of America when I was... Uh, no, I'm not going to say the age. <laughs> I'm going to say that I moved to the United States of America in 1998. Okay, so I've been speaking English for quite some time now. Okay, Carol, Carl, are you still there? Okay, looks like you left or maybe it's just internet connection again. Ask me questions if you want to know what I learned. You know what? You better ask me questions <laughs> because I am here not to learn from you. You are here to learn from me. I am the teacher here, right? Do you understand that? So let me continue my presentation today. So let's go back to hashtag stuttering awareness. So let's see, stuttering awareness, let us let me go back. Okay, I'm going to make me smaller. And I'm going to go back to my, where is it? My Instagram. So let me see what other tips they give you, the company called Save. Let me see what tips they give you. Okay, I'm going to move my Instagram people here. Okay, so as I explained to you, this is a whole bunch of disinformation. Okay, the only one thing that is true that often misunderstood communication disorder, not often, always, always misunderstood communication disorder. Please understand, every time you go to people who tell you this is a communication disorder for misunderstood reasons, run away from these advisors. Please understand. If they say it's a misunderstood communication disorder that causes disfluencies in a person's speech, run away from these people because they don't know what it is. Now let's look at the next tip. Stuttering one-on-one. -on -one. Stuttering is unique to each person and can change over the course of a person's life. Oh my God. Surface behaviors may include sound repetitions, sound prolongations, silent blocks, secondary physical characteristics, eye blinks, leg shaking, tension in the throat and others. What can I say about this? Let me comment. Stuttering is unique to each person. This is correct. It is unique to each person because, and it can change over the course of a person's life. Yes, it can. It depends, oh, wait a second, let me not comment that, let me continue. Surface behavior may include what's listed there, this is also correct. That's it. There is nothing else that is correct about this. Because, which actually, I see that I have listed everything. Yes, this is correct. But why stuttering is unique to each person? Why is it so? This is true. Stuttering is unique to each person. And it can change over the course of a person's life. And it can be behaviors that because people who stutter 
abuse their own body, mind, computers because they don't know how to use it, the surface behaviors may include all of these things. This is reality. I agree with this. Let's look at the next one. I guess these are the facts. Let me see if this is reality. Many people who start to struggle with shame, embarrassment, anxiety, and low self-esteem. I agree with this as well. Yes. to stream yeah yeah i'm back fins clapping i'm still there yeah there was some technical problem okay so i wasn't directing my instrument correctly let me show it to you guys here we go yeah see the conversation i am having with a person fins clapping so the biggest thing I learned from you is speech is consecutive. I have to say every sound in the time that I need to say it. Pause due to poor connection. What's going on? Huh? Reconnecting. Now poor connection in on Instagram as well. I don't like it. Hopefully I'm still hanging in here on YouTube. Okay, actually I do look at, oh, let me look at YouTube. Yeah, I'm still on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Okay, so fins clapping, the biggest thing. Okay, I'm back. I think I'm back. Let me make it bigger. Ugh. Technical difficulties are not fun. So I have things to do, unfortunately. So I am about to leave the house, but let me thank you. And Raman, again, I learned from you is speech is consecutive. And I have to say every sound in the time that I need to say. No, that's not fun. I get bad internet connection. I guess I need to re reload my. 
Okay, so let me read what he wrote and I'm gonna reload my internet. That's the only way I see I can deal with this. The big, okay. So I wasn't directing my instrument correctly to say the words correctly. And from watching other people speak, I've reprogrammed already a lot of my speech. Not everything yet, perhaps, but I'm getting there as I'm practicing more. Your screen went black, Anna. Okay, I, I've got to go again. Thank you. Hi, I'm here still. I can see and hear you. Thank you so much. Oh, that's not fun when the internet is so bad. Okay, I'm gonna stop this. This is not fun. Okay. Okay, thank you so much guys for, <laughs> looks like I still have one person. Okay, Adam, of course, helped me tremendously learning what a normal speaker thinks and does speak gave me direction on how to practice to improve speech coordination. Now I regularly take business Zoom call where I wouldn't before. I even have up upcoming TV interview with a local news station. Yay! And I'm, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> See, I'm crazy. I am in love when people tell me that they, uh, hey, record it. I want to have it. I want to advertise it everywhere. Adam, you are one of my biggest students. Because I want to be here for people like Adam, for people like Finn's clapping. They don't want to accept this stuttering craziness. It's time we stop accepting. I don't know what's going on, why my internet connection is so weak today. Okay, let me go back to Instagram and see if I'm still on with Instagram. Yeah, looks like I gotta do it. Yeah, now I'm live, now I'm fine. Okay, hello, Anna, hello, Dipesh. Good to see you. I agree with Adam. Is he a student? He was. <laughs> he was for three days. He was a student. And now, as you see, TV interview is upcoming, a local news station. I wish I could go to a local news station. I guess I need to do that. Okay. Because people still trust TV right local stations or whatever so anyway connection is gone again i will go now much love and a much love to you things clapping okay i'm gonna wrap it up because this is a nightmare to work on this kind of internet connection my phone shows only one bar that's not fun okay Mwah, everyone i'm gonna try to go live let me ask a question. Okay, if you are lucky and the internet is going to be good, go ahead, Dipesh. I'm waiting for your question. Go ahead and ask. And meanwhile, I don't know if I can continue. Let me see. No, no. Okay, Dipesh, I'm waiting for your question. Yeah, everyone is left. Depeche, you're still here. I see you here. 10.50. Yeah, just us. Oh, you left? I guess internet is bad. Okay. Okay, looks like Depeche has left too. Okay, guys, you know what? Come to me personally and ask questions. Come to me. Leave starter free. Oh, Dipesh asked. Just want to ask that I am now natural speaker. 
but just tell me how practice alone. Guys, practicing alone, I'm here, okay, practicing alone is crazy. You don't need to practice alone. You need to speak to people. Dipesh, I don't recall your name. You're not my student. You don't know what to do alone. The only thing that you need to do alone is to learn the words with your tongue, to build the tongue vocabulary. Tongue vocabulary. Learn to move your tongue for saying any word with accuracy, ease, and confidence. Okay? This is what you need to do alone, but you have no idea how to do it because you have not been with me. Come to me at least for one day, for six hours of my time. This is pretty affordable. It's not that expensive. Come to me. I will teach you what is it you need to do to learn how to say any word with ease and accuracy. And then learn all the words and go ahead and speak, speak, speak with other people everywhere because speaking is given to us for communication with other people, for sharing ideas with other people. It's not going to help you if you're going to be sitting alone and working with your tongue. How good is it going to be for a musician who is practicing at home, learning how to play a musical instrument, for example, a trumpet? He's going to be perfectly playing a trumpet. But then he's going to go to on the stage and he's going to begin playing this trumpet for the audience and he's going to begin making mistakes because this is what you need to learn to be able to play your musical instrument, which I call a speech pipe, anywhere, anytime. I am not a student. That's why you have no idea how to do it. But I have got some knowledge and right knowledge. I can say, I'm not sure what kind of knowledge you have gotten, Depeche. I don't know. Even people who have read my books, yes, this is the right knowledge. But I have no idea how they understood it. I don't know how well you understood what you learned, okay? No books, no live videos can give you the right knowledge completely because everything I'm explaining here is a general information, general, okay? You have no way to know. Ah, see, and now I see that I freeze on YouTube. I freeze. Yeah. Okay. I froze again, but I'm back. Yeah. I'm watching now YouTube and how it works. So let me read what Depeche wrote. In speaking, our attention is most important that I have learned. It's very important, yes. Your attention is extremely important, not just in speaking, anywhere. Anywhere. Everything is your attention because your attention is you. You know how I can call attention? Attention is the beam of consciousness. The beam of consciousness. So depending on what you are focused, that's what you're going to be doing. If you are focused on anything else but using correctly your speech instrument, then you will be stumbling. But before you can focus 
on using correctly your speech instrument, you got to learn how to do it. This is extremely important. You got to learn how to do it correctly. And this is what I invite you guys. Come to me. I will explain it to you in only six hours of my time. At least. But of course, Adam was with me for three days. That's why his TV interview is upcoming. He's going to be on TV. And now he knows what to do. He knows what to focus on. I'm going to read for you again what he wrote. Adam is my former student. Where is his? Adam, Adam, Adam. No, where is his? Did he withdraw it? That was his very cool, very cool words he wrote. I guess there was a bad intranet and it didn't say. Nah. Too bad. I wanted to read it because he wrote that he is he has a schedule. He has the TV interview schedule on local TV. So anyway, I don't see it. Okay. So actually, I have talked to one your student by mistakenly. Then I got to know that he is your student. You know what? Even if the person is my student, you got to understand what my students know may not be useful for you because each and every person is different. Each and every problem that the person has is different. Each and every life experience is different. This is why what that person that you talk to has given to you, by the way, I don't appreciate that he did it. Unfortunately, he did it. I don't like it. So I would love to know the name of the student. I would love to know this because chances are that if he is speaking with stutterers, chances are he will come back to me. That's the reality. The only person that my people are supposed to communicate with is Anna Dieter, their teacher. And the fact that they communicate with those who stutter is not good for them. It's not beneficial for them because what they know is selected, was selected for them individually. It's a custom made information. And when they begin communicating with anyone else who stutters, who doesn't stutter, or anyone else about speaking, they again trigger thinking about speaking. They don't have all the answers. They don't know all the answers. They don't know everything. They're not teachers. They begin thinking and they experience confusion. They again become confused. They experience a mental block. They begin to stupor because speaking is not about thinking. Speaking is about moving the tongue correctly. Anytime, anywhere. Depeche, please understand. And please, even if that person made a mistake and communicated with you, I don't recommend you talk even to the ones who used to stutter, who used to be my students. I don't recommend that. The only person who can tell you all the answers to your questions is sitting in front of you and you are no longer asking questions. Okay? So lots of love to you. Thank you for bearing with me. If you stayed with me with all the bad connections, I see now everything is working. 
You know what, guys? I'll try to do my best to go live tomorrow. I will reboot my, what do you call it? The thing that gives internet. I will reboot it. God, forgot the word. <laughs> it happens. I will reboot my internet and hopefully it's going to go well tomorrow. Okay? I'll go live exactly at 10 o'clock again tomorrow. Lots of love to you. Bye-bye. Okay, so I'm going to go to a live stream and broadcast.